What is the basis for the rights of children, and how do these rights follow from an ethics of egoism? Well, the basis for the rights of children is that they are human beings. They're not like embryos or fetuses. They are human beings, even if they don't yet have their full powers uh, development. And they follow from an ethics of egoism the way all rights follow from an ethics of egoism. We survive by our own uh, individual uh, rational exercise and action, which is what the child uh, will do. And uh, we have the right because we're, we're born uh, without obligation or duty, but simply as a, as a moral obligation to serve our own welfare. But, and then the question goes on, is initiating physical force against a child immoral? No, even though the child has rights. It depends, of course, what kind, but you cannot say, well, if he has rights and liberty is a right, then he has the right to liberty. Let him do what he wants, just turn him loose on the world. The child has no way to deal with the world as a child, you're responsible for him. It's up to you to uh, uh, discipline him, set limits, teach him. You can't say, you don't feel like going in the crib, okay, go out on Fifth Avenue uh, and enjoy yourself. The same is true for property. The child has no property rights. You can give him money and say, this is yours, you know, a stuffed money or a real one for that matter. But if you find, you know, that he's uh, eating sections of, the, of either, <laughs> you would take it away and say, well, it's not yours anymore. Now, that's conditional. So it's not actual property. And again, it's, uh, it's for the same uh, reason. So force in the name of protecting the child is uh, legitimate. 